In this video, we will run some voltage testing for a Vizio TV model number D650I-B2. This testing is run on a TV with the panel number T650HVN05.9. LEDs are panel specific. Always be sure to match up panel numbers when ordering LEDs. On this TV, we have removed the back cover and we can take a look at the boards on the panel. Since we have the symptom of no backlights and we want to determine if the problem is one of the boards or the actual LEDs, we will want to determine where the power for the LEDs is coming from and test those various points. As you can see here, we have a power supply board, a main board, a TCON board, and an LED driver board. We can see here there is a cable going from the LED driver into the TV panel. This is the connection to the LEDs. If we follow back from the LED driver board, we will see that there are two cables running from the power supply board to one connection on the LED driver. We also have a cable running from the main board to the LED driver board. This cable turns on the LED driver. We will start by checking the voltages at the connection from the LED driver that goes into the TV panel. There are six test points at this connection. The normal working voltage should measure 35 volts. If we receive zero volts at this test point, that means there could be a problem with either the LED driver board, the power supply board, the main board, or the LEDs. In an ideal situation, we would want to unplug the TV, disconnect this cable, and then retest the points with the TV powered on. Unfortunately, we cannot test the individual points at this connection with the cable disconnected because when we power on the TV, with the cable disconnected, the TV shuts down. If you have zero volts here, I recommend moving on with troubleshooting to the point where the cable coming from the main board connects to the LED driver. The main board turns on the LED driver, so if that is not functioning correctly, it could be the problem. When checking the voltages at this point, if you get around 3.3 volts, then it shows the main board is sending the turn on signal to the LED driver. If you receive zero volts, then you should check the pins on the main board cable connection, and if you do get the correct volts there, then there is a problem with the cable or the LED driver. You can replace the LED driver to see if that fixes the problem. If I get zero volts at the LED driver and main board for this cable and connections, then there is most likely a problem with the main board and it can be replaced. If you receive normal voltages here on the LED driver, where the main board connects, then there could be a problem at the connection point on the LED driver with the cables coming from the power supply. I will start by testing the voltages here on the LED driver board. Our normal voltages should be at 23 volts. If you receive zero volts, it is recommended to test the points at the other end of the cable here on the power supply board. If we have zero volts here as well, then there's most likely a problem with the power supply board and it can be replaced. If we have normal measurements at 23 volts, then there's most likely a problem with the LED driver and it can be replaced.